What's good look like, yeah, man? It's your boy Shaq, man. I'm coming at y'all. What up, bro? Y'all wouldn't even believe me if I told y'all this. I got a little cousin, right? He's eight years old, bro. He's eight years old. He told me this is his favorite Eminem song, Till I Collapse. And better yet, y'all been requesting this too. But what made me react to it right now? My little eight-year-old cousin, he told me to react to it. He watches my channel all the time. He watches every reaction I post. He told me this is his favorite Eminem song. And I believe him because it's a, it's a little older. So he had time to like really listen to it. I wouldn't expect him to say some of the new stuff is his favorite. But he said Till I Collapse is one of his favorite songs because he loves Nate Dogg, man. Rest in peace, Nate Dogg. We are, I, this a review. It ain't even no reaction. It's a review for all the new fans. I saw some of the, uh, I saw some of the new fans in the comment section on my, uh, I forgot which video it was, but they was basically saying the forever reaction. Yeah, the forever reaction. They was like, bro, there's no way you just heard this song. I was like, bro, listen, watch the reaction before you comment, bro. I clearly said it's not a reaction. It's a review. <laughs> a review mean I done heard it before. I done saw it before. That mean we just going back over it, breaking it down. So that's what this finna be. It's, it's a review. It's not a reaction. So let's get it, man. This one for you, cuz. This one for you, man. And all the fans that requested it, this for y'all too, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, I miss Nate, dog, bro. Sometimes you just feel tired. Man, y'all can't even y'all can't even tell me when that beat dropped like that, man. It just, bro, you just no fire coming, bro. Because they don't play this that sample or the or, or the beat on a lot of different things ever since this came out. And every time they play it, it's something crazy happened in the movie or whatever they playing it on. That's tough. You gotta search for you. Try to find that inner spring and just pull that shit out of you. Motivation. Motivation. Yeah. So I collapse. I'm spilling these raps. Long as you feel them to the day that I drop, you'll never say that I'm not killing them. Ooh. When I am not, then I'ma stop pinning them. And I am not hip hop, and I'm just not Eminem. Sublimin. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We, let's break it down, let's break it down, hold up. The day that I drop, you'll never say that I'm not killing them. Cause when I am not, then I'ma stop pinning them. And I am not hip hop, and I'm just not Eminem. Come on, Subliminal man. thoughts when I'ma stop sending them women. He said, if I'm not hip hop, then I'm not Eminem. Come on, bro. Hey, I gotta tell y'all some real stuff before we, before we continue. Bro, if Eminem was black, Imagine how much more bigger he'd be. Imagine how long ago he would have got credit of being the goat if he was black. We don't really, we don't really talk about race that much on this channel, but that's that's facts, bro. I was thinking about that yesterday. I was like, if Eminem was black, bro, people be going crazy, man. People be going crazy. That's tough. Hey, bro, I miss hearing Nate Dogg voice, bro. Oh, my God. Nate Dogg voice is legendary on his own. Like, let's not even think about him as a person right now. Let's think about just his voice. Nate Dogg voice on the track mean it was a banger. It was a banger. Nate Dogg had the best hooks ever, man. I'm telling you. We got to react to some Nate Dogg, bro. Rest in peace, man. Comes off, till the lights go out, till my leg give out, can't shut my mouth, mm. till the smoke clears out, yeah. and my high burn out, yeah. I'ma rip this shit, till yeah. my bone pull out, pull out. Music is like magic, there's a certain feeling you get when you reel and you spit, and people are feeling your shit, this is Woo. your moment, and every single minute you spin, trying to hold on to it, cause you may never get it again, so why Oh, them, oh man, oh man. 
he's bad. He's talking about his love for, for his lyrics, bro. He's saying that feeling you get when you spit and everybody love it, you ain't one at the end because you don't know if you're going to get it again. Come on, man. That is like, bro, if y'all listen to what Eminem be talking about, he be telling us how he was so consistent, how he kept his hunger for so long. His fans, his fans, like Eminem fans kept him going, bro. Like, it's just that simple. His fans kept him going. Say, so when people feel your lyrics, that's going to give you motivation to keep going. That's tough. While you're in it, try to get as much shit as you can. And yeah. when your run is over, just admit when it's in it's in. Cause yeah. at the end of my wits would have to shit to get in. I got a list. Here's the order of my list that it's in. Reggie, Jay-Z, Tupac, and Biggie. I'm just yeah. from Outcast, Jay, Corrupt, Nas, and Thimmy. But Woo. this in this tree, I'm the cause of a lot of envy. So yeah. when I put on this list, the shit does not offend me. That's my... <laughs> to revisit music because you catch stuff that you didn't catch before. I never had any idea of what he said. Like, I just knew that part was fire when I was younger. You know, when you younger, you don't really break down music. You don't really appreciate it to its full potential. That's why I review old music, bro. For all y'all that be asking, bro, why you be reacting to old music? This is why. Because when some of this music came out, I was a teenager. I was 13, 14. 15 years old. I ain't care about what they was talking about. So that's why I like to revisit music, man. For real. It, it, it really tell you, it really shows you how much work the artist put into the music, bro. But I he he just named he just told us his list. And then he went on to say, if he ain't on it, he won't be offended. I guess cause they so great. Hold on. Fire, bro. Oh my god. My man said when he not put on that list, it's not gonna offend him. But he still walking around this bitch like he don't care. But he said people still got a problem with him. Even though he walking around minding this business, half of these people out here still got a problem with him. That's tough, man. That is tough. And you know why? Because he white, bro. That's why. That's why a lot of motherfuckers got problems with Eminem, bro. Cause he white, bro. But it seems like it, it seems like it's 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 fading away now. It seems like people starting to accept the fact that Eminem may be the greatest of all time, bro. Come on, man. talking about he just said it he just said it he said he'll probably never get the props that he deserved this is the artist saying this this is not like like analysts saying this this Eminem saying this so he know what's going on he know what's going on he know what's being said I'll never be served my spot is forever reserved if I ever leave earth that would be the death of me first cause in my heart of hearts I know nothing could ever be worse that's why I'm clever when I put together Hey, bro, what? That verse is better than the last verse. He said that's why he clever with every every word, every verse that he put together because he just want to eat rappers. My man said, hey, I'm going to put my heart and soul into every word, every verse that I spit. So at the end of the day, y'all ain't going to have no choice but to put me up there. But I'm going I'm to keep destroying these rappers until y'all believe in me. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You, 
I just thought about something. He basically just said he take his time on every word, every verse, every song. Think about it. All the Eminem songs that he ever made, they kind of connect with each other. It's like with every song he's telling another part of his life. It's like a big, it's like a big book, bro. That's tough. Imagine, imagine a goddamn a tech a tech genius reacting to this, bro. They'll be in, they'll be in heaven. They'll think they watching porn watching this right here, man. <laughs> That's tough. How 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 the uh, how the human movement is what the robots doing? Or a tech genius or a tech nerd, any kind of nerd to go crazy over this. <laughs> That's tough. Mm. RPMJK. RPMJK. That's what Killshot did to them. Rock Devil. Uppercut his ass. That's tough. But hey, that's why I love these reviews. Not a reaction, a review. That's why I love them, bro. Because stuff like that, bro. You really get to appreciate exactly what they meant in the music when you go back and listen to it. That's tough. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, man. I know my little cousin gonna love this one. He gonna love this one. I'm, a, uh, I'm actually send him the, uh, the link before I even put it out so he can watch it on his own to make him feel special. But hey, for all y'all that uh, requested this, here y'all go, man. Appreciate all the support, man. We gonna keep this going. And oh, uh, I had somebody uh, write me on Twitter said, bro, you said if you miss a day, then you gonna delete your channel. Yeah, I said that, but I don't, I don't react on Sundays. If I drop a reaction on Sunday, it's probably a promo. So Sunday don't count. I'm not counting Sunday. If I miss any other day, Monday through Saturday, I delete my channel if I miss a day. So y'all know y'all gonna see a reaction from me, a couple reactions from me every day, bro, except for Sunday. Remember that, except for Sunday, man. Let's get it.